Hi, I'm Angie with Cardiety Magazine, and I'm sitting here with the Octopus Project, who just did a great three-song session here for us at the vault. You guys want to go around and introduce yourselves? Give us your names. Uh, my name is Toto. Uh, my name is Ryan. I am Yvonne. And my name is Josh. I would ask you guys to say what instruments you play, but I know you guys all switch around. Um, so you guys want to tell us a little bit about your instrumentation, because you have a lot of it, and it's really some interesting tools. <laughs> <laughs> I'll shoot him out, and you guys get to decide who gets okay. to it, who feels it. You can go down the line. Okay. Uh, it's a it's a big pile of stuff. It's the normal, I guess, sort of rock and roll guitar, bass, drums, plus uh, electronics, keyboard samplers, theremin, and the like. Just uh, try to keep a variety of sounds at our disposal, so we can do whatever seems fun at any given moment. When? How did you guys get together as a band? How did you guys meet? Mm, we've known each other for a long time and played together in various bands and at some point decided, I don't know, I guess to focus on something together where we could kind of branch out sound-wise and uh, things just kind of rolled from there. Mm -hmm. So you guys um, have just finished, wrapped up a project called Hexadecagon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> yeah, I've been practicing. <laughs> um, and you guys, that's more than just a record. Uh, can you guys tell us a little bit about that project? It's quite an sure. endeavor. Sure. The, the idea uh, started off as kind of we wanted to make a show that was really enveloping, that would be kind of like a surround sound and surround video project, having not really knowing what the music would be like or the videos would be like. We just sort of dove headfirst into it and started writing songs and making videos and premiered the show at South by Southwest. We did two shows and uh, it went over really well and we really liked the songs a whole lot and just decided to make a record out of the whole thing. So, And there was 16 channels? Like it was a surround sound experience? It was right? eight speakers in, in a circle and then we had a bunch of different video projections like all in sync with the, uh, like we would trigger a sound in the audio and it would also trigger like a video thing happening and... It was just kind of like all interconnected and this big monster of a thing. But uh, yeah, it was, it was interesting. Yeah, it was fun. So eight, eight, eight speakers, eight video things going on. So I guess, yeah, 16. Cool. <laughs> Multimedia experience. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did you work with one, in, one visual artist in particular? Did you work with sort of a cast of different, like, you know, filmmakers or anything? Or did you guys do that yourselves? Um, well, m most of it was was us and our friend Wiley uh, Wiggins. He's a he's actually an actor. Uh, he was in Days and Confused. If you've seen really? that movie, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was filmed in Austin. Yeah. Right, yeah. So, uh, but we we've been really good friends with him for a long time, and he's just an amazing person and an amazing video guy, and just knows the technical side of things, the ins and outs. And uh, so, when we had the idea, we just initially went to him, and we're like, we have this crazy, stupid idea, like make it happen, and he did. And uh, so it was just kind of the five of us working on stuff together mm -hmm. visually. So, so it, de it debuted at South by Southwest and had a very good response. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. And your so your record drops this Tuesday. How's the response been to the to the new music? <laughs> I know you like that term. <laughs> How's the response been to the new to the new material on tour so far? <laughs> I think it's been good. People seem excited about it. Yeah. Are you playing the same cities and venues that you played in the past, or is it sort of a different market? For the most part, I think a, a couple, a couple new places here and there. But uh, for the most part, yeah, it's places we played before. So, mm -hmm. have you played a great American Music Hall? No. The band no. plays there tonight. This evening. We're very excited. Yeah, We've it's a great venue. Things. Yeah, your music will sound really well in that in that hall <laughs> awesome. too. Yeah. So I read something about um, your experience in Coachella 2006. Oh, yeah. Can someone tell me a little bit about that? What a that cool thing that was. Was really just crazy and weird. Um, we started a MySpace profile when MySpace first came out and it was just a band page. <laughs> and um, my, the Golden Voice had a contest. They asked you know everybody to vote on MySpace to vote for their favorite band, the band they wanted to play, Coachella. And uh, we had no idea this contest was going on, just didn't even know anything about it um and one day we got a random call from somebody who said they were from golden voice and i don't we we didn't really believe it at first <laughs> sure like you always hear that thing that like you know oh yeah here's a call from the president and you're like oh, it's the president whatever <laughs> and it turns out to be but yeah that was it was one of those things and they just asked us to play and I think we were first on like the Sunday of Coachella or whatever. It was just, but it was amazing. It was just like the 
greatest honor in the world just to be able to play that festival. Yeah, we were like just little kids running all over the place, just eyes, I mean, just <laughs> totally dazzled and surprised. Um, That's a great yeah. demographic for your music, too, you know. <laughs> Obviously, it translates yeah. well. Do you like playing festivals, those sort of larger gigs? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. It's like summer camp. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's a weird... It's great. It's a weird break from playing clubs. It's so completely different, just the scale of everything and the amount of assistance that you get is, <laughs> is pretty awesome. Totally different, yeah. It would probably make, make my brain feel weird to do it all the time, but as a vacation from regular shows, it's, it's pretty spectacular. Mm-hmm. And your music reaches such a larger audience of yeah. people that wouldn't necessarily yeah. be familiar yeah. with it. It's, it's very exciting. Yeah. What are kind of the, because you guys are kind of wrapping up a pretty large tour. What What is some of the things you do to keep sort of sane on the road and handling such a grueling schedule? A lot of really dumb jokes. <laughs> yeah. The, the, uh, the, the, the bar for what makes it as a joke in the van just descends constantly as the tour goes on and we're getting, Easily we're entertained. getting down there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I bet. Do you guys find like that the West Coast response is different than the East Coast or versus Texas? I mean, you is play this... all over the country pretty often, so. Are they going to watch this on the East Coast? <laughs> yeah, our, <laughs> our audience we is global. We love everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, I, I like the West Coast a lot, especially San Francisco and LA. Are people get really out good a shows. lot for music. And... Yeah, it's just people go nuts. People have a good time, and it's it's fun when the audience is participating as much as we are. It's a, you know, a joint thing happening, yeah. so, which happens everywhere, but <laughs> San Francisco in particular is, is pretty amazing. We really like playing here. So, Do you have a favorite um, venue in Austin that you guys like to play? Man.